There are many ways to go about adding detail to your mesh. If you're wanting to cut in new edges uh, on your mesh to add detail, add edges might be an option for you to use. I'm going to go over to the detail tab and under edges, add edges, I'm going to go ahead and click that and we've get, we get little control handles on the center of each edge and all we have to do is click on that edge on the little handle and then click to the next and we're actually cutting into our geometry okay now you're not limited to cutting right down the center if you see right here it says 50.1983 percent we can slide this we can cap it off at 100 or 0 and that will weld the points together okay so we can do that for each piece we can cut it however we would like if we commit we get our we get our edge if I let's go back and do a couple cuts and I slide that all the way to 0% and slide this all the way to 0% or 100% but 0% that's just one point and that's just one point so it automatically welds those for you you don't have to do any cleanup for that let me undo add edges I'm going to open up the numeric panel for add edges with N for numeric and we have some options. We can use grid snap. Once I start clicking and dragging, if I want, I can change the position for the selected one numerically. Okay, So if you want to do it numerically, you can use the mini slider or you can key in. You can change the distance from start and the distance from end. Okay, We can turn on grid snap and we can use, um, if we turn on grid snap, we can set up a, a distance there. Okay, And we can also set up a stopper. And what a stopper means is, right now, if I click and drag this, I can go to 100 to 0. I get the full range of movement. If I were to set, say, 10% for my stopper, I could come all the way over to 90. I can't, no matter what I do, I can't get to 100. And I can come all the way over to 10, but I can't get to 0. So if you're not wanting to have it weld, if you're afraid that you might accidentally, let me turn stopper off, you're afraid you want it really close, but you're afraid it'll snap to 100, well, just set a stopper, and it'll make it impossible to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to turn that off. You can also hide the markers. If, that's, um, if those markers get in your way, you can hide the markers, and just know you got to click somewhere in the, in the, in the center. So I'm just going to come all the way around and get a new loop going okay and if I like that and I want to move on I can right click to commit but the tool is still active and I can start cutting again right click to commit and I can start cutting again okay and don't forget we can left click and drag to adjust our values here. Okay, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and unhide markers so that we can see. So you can see on all the new edges, we've got the markers. Okay, the minute you right click, you're committing. It's the same as hitting spacebar or enter, except you want to keep the tool active. So you just right click. And we can just draw the edges anywhere we'd like. Okay. So that's just a quick look at add edges. It's an easy way to go about cutting in detail and placing it exactly where you want. Unlike um, using, say, Connect, which cuts right down the center, uh, Bandsaw, Bandsaw Pro, and Cut, you can determine where it's going to slice through, but the entire loop, you can't change it up like this. So you have far more control with this, uh, and you just click and drag and cut where you'd like. So add edges under the detail tab under the edges submenu.